Ryan Weiss for Feathercraft's Fly Tying Contest, coming to you again with another new product spotlight. Uh, this product that we're going to feature tonight is actually not a brand new product itself, but the way it's used is totally new. Um, basically, guys, we are featuring Fish Reaper Tails. The product is Ultra Suede. You, you might have used Ultra Suede in, in worms and stuff like that, but there were strips and, you know, it, it was uh, a little funky to deal with. These are, for lack of better words, beaver tail like um, shaped fish tails, is what it is. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, they come in, in three or four different colors. We've got brown. We've got, all, obviously, the chartreuse, black, and white. Uh, they come in uh, medium sizes, a small, a large. Um, I dropped it. This is the small, and this is the large. And, uh, guys, they are absolutely awesome. They, they, we, they would work great for leech tails, uh, just anything. Anything that gives an amazing movement in the water like this, um, Absolutely awesome in my book. Smallmouth fishermen, take note. Uh, I don't know if there is much that will uh, that will move exactly like this stuff in the water. And we're going to show you a smallmouth fly that is absolutely awesome. It's called the Grim Reaper. It's the name Fish Reaper Tales. Um, but it is so cool and it waylays smallmouth. So again, guys, Fish Reaper Tales. And uh, we're going to show you how they work right now. Okay, guys, so I've got a Gamakatsu jig hook here. Uh, I have some pretty large dumbbell eyes, and I've already got them all set. Everything's good to go. Um, and we're going to take this grim or this uh, fish reaper tail, and we're going to tie it in by this point right here. What we want to do is leave a little bit of the point out so it can kind of pivot there. So we're going to tie this in right about here. Okay, center it. Okay. So we'll get it on there. Then what we're going to add, it's, that's as easy as it gets, right there. So this is already done, okay? So now we're going to build a body of laser dub and, uh, and go from there. Okay, so we have our uh, laser dub in there, and what we're going to add next is uh, the rubber legs. And this is just going to be like a, a skirt, so you want these rubber legs to stand up as much as possible. Okay, just like that. And then to finish it off, we're going to throw some ice dub around the head. And that is about it. So there is your, uh, your Grim Reaper. Okay, guys, so that's about all she wrote for the Fish Reaper Tales. Uh, like I said, a, a new twist on an old on an old idea with this Ultra Suede, but such a cool shape, and it moves like crazy. Um, one thing I want to note is uh, the Fish Reaper Tales have a close cousin that is called uh, Magic Tales. And we've already seen a fly uh, submitted to the 2011 contest that featured these, and it's basically... A tail. It's, it's exact same stuff. It comes in the same different colors, sizes, and everything like that. And um, it is on this fly right here. 
This is called, uh, I, I'm probably going to pronounce the name wrong, but the Maycheck Minnow or uh, something like that. Very cool pattern. Uh, this is this is a 2011 submission to uh, the fly tying contest. It was being in, they, he used these tails. So, uh, very cool. Uh, here's our, here's our uh, Grim Reaper that we tied. Uh, Smallmouth Killer. Uh, guys, it's, it's a fun product. And like I said, it's just waiting to kind of pop. And I think... If it doesn't take warm water stream fishing, at least, uh, by storm, I would be very surprised. I, would, I, I expect to see several patterns come out of this product uh, within the next year. It's very, very cool. So, um, guys, thanks a lot. And uh, until next time, I'm Brian Wise for Feathercraft's Fly Tying Contest.